Hallelujah to Jesus. It gives me great joy to welcome you to our program, your program, Freedom Across the Airwaves. Of course, you know, this is a program ever not released, not only for the believer's edification, but for salvation, healing, and deliverance. As a matter of fact, like we often advocate, whenever you connect with God, you can collect anything. Hallelujah. You know, God always wishes to update our lives, but... It has to be on his own thumb. It has to be in his own way, or else it won't be done at all. That's why the Bible will say to us in John chapter 8, in verse 32 and 36, by summary, it says, If the Son of God, Jesus Christ, has set you free, you shall be free indeed. It doesn't matter how mad the devil becomes. It doesn't matter the pandemic global nature of his harassment. It doesn't matter. Heaven will exempt you. Rise and shine. Your light is come. Welcome one more time to our program, your program, Freedom Across the Hearwaves. It's a time for supernatural intervention. Another time for God to do you good. Glory to God. Isaiah 9, 6 For unto us a child is born Unto us a son is given And the government shall be upon his shoulder And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor The mighty God The everlasting Father the Prince of Peace. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. First Corinthians 1, 22 to 24. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified Unto the Jews a tumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Jesus, our everything. Now look up here. All in all, when all are considered rightly, when all things are put in their right perspective, all in all, Jesus Christ is our everything. Jesus Christ is the most important person or personality in our spaces, our life spaces. In our career development, in our health status, in our work with them, and the way we channel our path on the journeys of destiny he is the most important personality in all our life spaces. He is extremely pertinent to our lives and godliness now, here, and hereafter. Extremely pertinent to our lives and godliness. You know why Jesus Christ is our savior? He is our healer, our deliverer, our baptizer, our provider, our guide, our guard, our source of joy, our fountain of inspiration, our everything. Indeed, our coming king, and it's very crucial that we understand that Jesus Christ is our all in all. 
Now, I, 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 I summed it up and I discovered that in life, once in a while, we have the unexpected to deal with. Things that you don't really figure out that is coming. Things that you don't like to be there once in a while. Once in a while, we deal with, with, with um, some surprises that are not too pleasant. It could happen in our homes, in our marriages. It will happen in our finances. It will happen even where we bought our land and built our houses. It will happen in our in relationship. Once in a while, all of us, of course, that is tough for the matured. Those who are zero responsibility to their parents may not quite understand that. But when you have matured and you have gathered and garnered some experience, you know that this unexpected scenarios spring up. And look at me, ladies and gentlemen, being holy or being a person of faith or having faith doesn't actually exempt you from this real life scenarios. It's a part and parcel of realities of life. Remember Job. The Bible very Krita clearly said he was a righteous man, Job. And yet, he had what he had. He experienced what he did. But very happily, his ending was better than his beginning. Paul and Silas also in the New Testament were even jailed. Why? Paul and Silas. They were jailed for being active on their duty post. They were casting out devils. They were praying for those who are bound. They were getting people into the kingdom of God on their duty post, on the assignment of their lives and destiny. That was why they were arrested and they were put in prison. Their liberty was, was you know, curtailed for some while. They were put inside the inner, inner side of the prison. Their necks and their feet were bound in the stock. They were tied down, tied, tied down. But it was just for a moment. Because why? It's part and parcel of life. The unexpected. The unexpected. You know, times do come one day while when you don't know what next to do. Ladies and gentlemen, the wisest way to live, therefore, is to live knowing how best to undo the challenges of life when they come anyhow and from anywhere. They do come. They do come. Things you never calculated. Things that were not in your factors of consideration. They do come. The wisest way to, to live is to be handy, to live ready, knowing how best to undo the challenges of life. Now, but let me put this to you. Very importantly, we more basically realize that what we sometimes see as crisis, as a matter of fact, is not a surprise to God. Is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows everything. He knows exactly when it is built for um, for the wrath of the enemy to bring him pay, praise. He knows what you need. My God shall supply all our needs according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And so, what you call a crisis in your marriage, what you call a crisis in your career development, what you call a crisis in you know in your place of work. What you call a crisis even in your relationship is not a surprise to God. Nothing surprises God. Nothing. Say I told you. Nothing. Nothing surprises God even your present challenges. Sometimes you know you, you want to love some people. You, you, you sell out your life to them. It may be in a relationship. And the person rather sees you as a I mean uh, as not too not too much of anything better than an option optional variable you sink um, your life your, your resources and you want you want a the relationship that will work and the other party is not but don't worry God isn't surprised it may be unexpected to you it is not unexpected to God he knows it all from the beginning because he is the alpha the omega and everything in between and he has always a wonderful card a wonderful card what i call the last joker a joker a divine joker suited to bring solution to you 
a joker suited to handle the challenges of your life and situations of life when they come and look at me god people even troubles that have not yet become troubles he has answers for them praise the lord challenges that have not shown up their identity in truth god has an answer for them now i am to show you um certain parameters verdict of scripture verdict verdict bible says, what is written is written we are eating don't forget that we are eating so that you will not go hungry so that you will not now pull and your hands couldn't take it so that it will not be that when others are giving testimony you'll be wondering what's happened we are eating the journey is a journey of greatness now let's look at some verdicts of scripture a verdict something that is a foregone conclusion something that heaven has written about you and about its plan for your life a verdict in this regard turn with me to second corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 second corinthians 2 14 ensure that you get it what does it say second corinthians 2 14 now thanks be unto god which always causes us to triumph in christ and make it manifest the server of his knowledge by us in every place now thanks be unto god say with me say now thank be unto god say louder let your ears hear what your mouth is saying say now thank be unto god which always causes us to triumph in christ and make it manifest the server of his knowledge by us in every place now that's a verdict of scripture excuse me sir brother Avielele, that's a foregone conclusion it is written it is done it cannot be unwritten it is canonized in heaven is a is an heavenly canon it's a decree in heaven the earth cannot change it even join hand god will say well i've written that but i want to get out certain five divine bullets from this decree from this body in that verse, i saw five things you must live to remember if you will enjoy everything in christ if you will embrace every joy that god offers to you in christ jesus second corinthians he said now thank be unto god which number one always causes us to triumph that's the fourth thing i saw there say with me say christ say god say god always causes me to triumph tell me say always all the way say always now if language means anything i'm happy that there are grammarians here there are people who have you know double degrees in english language always means always always all the time it's not a seasonal thing it's all the time it fit the mode all the time now thanks be unto god is a reason to give thanks to god because he always causes us to triumph you can say this to the devil you can point to him you can go to bank with it you can you can undo satan with it say god always causes me to triumph the unexpected may turn up what you never planned for what you never prayed for what you never thought could be could happen once in a while but say loudly god always causes me to triumph in christ jesus hallelujah number two thing i saw there he make it manifest he is the causative agent for our manifestation i was saying here to us to church and to the world last week i said when i was showing us the um that man is the centerpiece of divine goodness i said there are diversities of gifts there are differences of administrations there are diversities of operation now but he said all of this work together so that your profit will manifest now this manifesting by the power of the spirit there's a causative agent he said now you follow me i will make you to become say to somebody say follow christ he will make you to become now you want to be you are struggling oh far 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 oh damn people to there's a causative there's a maker there's a way maker a causative agent that's the second thing i see there and it is written bold and clear it is textual it's real it's absolute number one he always causes me to triumph number two 
he makes it to manifest i'm looking at you here today if you shout loud awoken amen everything that belongs to you which have been held in abeyance every glory that is supposed to be yours which you are supposed to be wearing on your sleeve everything that has been written as of goodness in your life which have been you know hidden up until this moment at a shout loud amen they will manifest i'm standing by your side see me by your side i am god's agent see me by your side i'm insisting the glory must manifest your joy must manifest your progress must manifest your abundance must manifest manifest your divine supply must manifest victory manifest i say victory manifest in the name of the lord jesus joy and victory and glory and honor and testimony testimony oh in the name of jesus for god people at the shout one old learning amen tongue drop amen let them manifest i'm happy he makes those things to manifest number three he said make it manifest i said what the server of his knowledge by ordinary bread so so number three thing you must know there is server in the knowledge of god what's a server and a server is um is like a perfume a server is like um, an aroma when you wear some perfume you appear those who know it will say oh god has arrived but ladies and gentlemen but we're saying there's a savour an aroma a distinguishing aroma that sig signalizes that you are the elect of god via the knowledge of god oh see this is you should understand it savour in those days when romans um um conquerors roman generals when they win war all right and they are coming in a trail of triumph they will be pouring perfume on them oh my so it's perfume the thing that is closest to it you know nowadays when sport men when they win uh, you know a trophy they will take a champagne and they will shake it they will begin you see in those days normal is perfume is she is she it will fill every place ladies and gentlemen as someone here appears there shall be the savour of the knowledge of god in the name of the lord jesus the aroma of the glory of god will materialize in your life is someone hearing me here he said now thanks be unto he gives us cause for elation now thank be unto god who always causes us to triumph in christ jesus and make it manifest the server of his knowledge by us that the fourth thing is by us is by us god is not withholding it you must not you must behold it and disseminate it you must diffuse it it's by us the devil cannot withhold what going to do in your life only you can the devil cannot stop you i'm talking to my people here today in the name of the lord jesus satan will find you untoppable the more the merrier every devil that want to stop you from today oh my people my people every demon that want to stop you from today by fire they will lose their commission i said they will lose their commission every aggregate of human agencies our human agency authorities of, of no authorities of no i went job by no tolo guayero ne buja de ah ah disappointment will scatter them those who are stubborn pursuer stubborn pursuer in the name of the lord jesus they gather the fall they gather the stumble i said they gather the stumble is by us that nothing god almighty will do sister nothing more will what else will he do he killed himself are you going to say he didn't that well for god so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life nothing new under the sun nothing the healing you can enjoy is available prosperity is made available for you open door i said before you open door don't do that one year. Make up your mind to enjoy God maximally. It is now in your court. He has made up to triumph always, all the time. All right? And disseminating, diffusing the odor, the perfume, the aroma of his glory by us. By us. By us. Someone is here. You will no more limit God. I say you won't limit God again. In Psalm 78, Psalm 78, Bible said they limited the only one of Israel. It is men that can limit God. Dickens.
again. Your destiny never again. You will no more be tall enough to limit God. Everything God wants to do in your life, Pastor. Everything you want to do in your life, Dignity. Everything you want to do in your life shall be done. Yeah. Satan will no more be able to limit you. Yeah. And you will no more limit yourself. I say you no more limit yourself. Yeah. He said, by he, he make it manifest the savo, aroma. Ah, aroma of victory. Hallelujah. Bible says, having points, principles, and power, Jesus made a show of them openly, traveling over them. Now, he said, by all, five number five bullet point in every place let me say somebody says in every place say my triumph is in every place my triumph is in every place say, my glory is in every place you are not limited some people they think until i get to that key who told you god's glory is not here is it not sunny here is the sun not reaching here is it so oh, god, no, say, I can read by any or go or go I say I can relay. Now it is in every place where you are is a place where God Almighty wants to cause you to blossom, flourish where you are from today. Ladies and gentlemen, now I've seen people look at things that are very, very idiotic. A human being told Lord you to lack pato It will now smoke himself to the um landing landing gear of an aircraft, landing gear. If I want to go to Morocco, some they will they will crisscross the hot desert. Desert. They will go all alone with one uh, handbag, you know, baggy backpack, and they will be. Where are they going? To go and sell their body, because they don't know that where God has planted them is where He expects them to block flourish. My people, oh, bomi dada, moveko bomi lati ezile. Where you are from today, you will flourish. Because by all in every place, every means every, every place, you will flourish in every place. You will flourish in every place. Where God has located you, you will flourish. You will prosper. It's important for us to know this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, thanks be unto God. Amen. Who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. Over sin, over poverty, over lack, over conflagrations, over battles, over demons. All right? And make it manifest. Oh, fear, huh? The sabre of his knowledge by us in every place. Every place. Now, see, let me go further. I want to show you the secret of this unending, unusual triumph. What the secret? It's important for us to know it. Bible says the secret thing belongs to God. This is the reveal belong to us and to our children forever. You must know what the secret so that it will no more remain a secret to you. Someone taught me years back, he said, the secret of success remains a secret for those who are poor up to now. But you must know it. How many of you? I asked you before, you want to eat. How many of you want to eat? How many of you want to eat? You will not eat your bread without butter. Oh, ninja bugan, bugan. That one they call bugan. Bu bread without butter is called bugan. Right, bugan. Now they will be looking for one cup of water. Now you will have your bread today. You have butter there and sardine and and rich milo in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. So let now know the secret. It will no more be hidden away from you. I will take you there. What the secret of this? Simply put, it is the power and the wisdom of God the spirit of the power and the wisdom of God that's the secret of our, of our enduring triumph if we triumph over sin it's because of the spirit of power and glory the power, the valiant spirit I call it valiant spirit of God's power and glory uh, of God's power and wisdom the valiant spirit is a prevailing spirit now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21, someone is here, whether you like it or not, Uriah Madara. It's the name of the Lord Jesus. The one who uses me is here with me. Holy Ghost is here with me. I'm feeling something in my right hand already. My right hand is anointed to bless. In the name of, I'm feeling it's warm already. I'm feeling it here already. Why? 
the one that uses me is here. Now, check it. In that passage we read, 1 Corinthians chapter number 1, verse 24. He said, but unto them which are called, called out of sin. What do you call church? Ecclesia. A company of called out believers. Unto them that are called. How many of you are members of the body of Christ? part of the church of Jesus can I see your hand properly and you are happy for that now he said unto them that are called both Jews and Greeks in other words whatever name you answer whether you are white or black or Caucasian or anything in between he said Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God <laughs> hallelujah something is shouting in me something is jumping on the inside of me so Christ is clearly the wisdom and the power of God meaning in him get it the logos of God and the logic of heaven are fitted together in Christ both the logos and the logic of heaven divine logos divine logic are fitted together in Christ Jesus. Amen. This is a most dizzying fact. A most dizzying fact. This is a most mind-boggling fact that the wisdom of God and the power of God is fitted in a man that we call the man like you and I. How many of you know that when Jesus Christ was here on earth, he was a man like you? How many of you know that? How many of you know that? Tell somebody, say, when Jesus Christ was here on earth, he was a man like you. Help me say to somebody, say, a woman by the name Mary carried him inside the womb. Help me say to him, say, he was sleeping. He was waking up. Tell him, say, he was sleeping. Say, on soon, tell him, say, he was sleeping. Tell him, he was eating. Hallelujah. Jesus. Though he was very God, but he came very man. He was very God. He became very man. That's the story of the incarnation. Now, in him, God kept his power and wisdom. Ah! The secret here is, he is now living inside me. In other words, the power of God and the wisdom of God, they are living inside you. How many of you are alive? Say, thank God I'm alive. Say, thank God I'm alive. Say, thank God I'm hearing this. No, someone is saying, Bishop, well, you see, what you are saying, well, me, I can't really see it. I mean, you say Christ is living in me. So the logic and the, and the um, logos of heaven living in me. So Jesus, Christ and me, the hope of glory. Now, you say, I'm not seeing it. Are you seeing your kidney? Do you have kidney? If you don't have a kidney, how, how come you drink water, you drink tea, and then you urinate? He said, but I'm not seeing this cry. Do you have, are you seeing your heart? My prayer for you is that you will never need to see your heart. You will never need to see your heart. But your eyes are not seeing it, but it's real. It's doing luku luku like that for all this year that you have been born. All the year, ikbo, ikbo, pa, po, pa, po. All the year that you've been born. In the same way, the same God who made you, who kept the kidney, who kept the liver, who kept the lung, who kept all those very, very important organs, vital to your existence, displaying, edoforo, edoki, akbola, ed, you know, all these he kept on inside you. He also said he kept Jesus Christ, the God of glory inside you. If you don't understand him, ask him. Ask him. You don't understand him, ask him. Bible says, doesn't even nature teach you? Now, let me take you a little bit um, um, back to the appreciation of a message I brought here to us some two weeks ago when I was talking about um, maturing our faith in Christ, our multi-dimensional faith. I said, some people, they walk, they choose to walk as sense, not let things. They say, until they see, they don't believe it. Now, but you know that you don't even apply that one to your daily life. Somebody says that he wants to give you um, 50,000 naira. 
He said, thank you, auntie. And then you had the alert inside your phone. He said, no, never, until I see it. Until I see the money like this, I will not believe that you are giving me money. Now, where is Dickney Juliana? Dickney Julie? No. Look at, she said, those who are owing are paid. Did, did, she, did she see the money physically? It was inside the account. Now, why don't we allow nature to teach us? Things that are not sin are even the thing more important. They rule the things that are sin. Praise the Lord now. And so, you can't see Christ in you, but it's there. Help me say to somebody, say, Christ in you is there. Tell him, say, it, it, the valiant spirit of God's power and glory. Valiant spirit of God's power and wisdom. And he is dwelling in us. I said then, and I'm repeating, up to now, I am dazed. I'm thrilled. My mind is blowing. It's looking at, you know, come on, oh Lord, are you saying this to me? Christ, Jesus Christ, is the power of God. Jesus Christ is the wisdom of God. And he is living in man. Praise the Lord. Now let's take this, let's link this to our real life experiences. Like I said then, whether you like it or not, you don't even have to pray for it. The unexpected happens once in a while. Now, therefore, whenever something unexpected happens in your finances, in your marriage, in your womb area, whenever the unexpected happens, or you find that you are facing what you can refer to as a crisis moment in life, don't automatically follow others into a panic mode. Hey, Oluwa, Ejare, Egbamiha, yeah, 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 and many only Unku Ungbe, Oku and Sorrow. <laughs> and then they will be appealing to the head of the mother that had died that you to sell Asa now ladies and gentlemen you need to know if particularly you know the working knowledge of the truth that it is in you you don't need to become emotional you know you don't need to be still Bible say be still and know that I'm God let me tell to two people say be still and know that I'm God say be still and know how many of you are enjoying the meal you are eating today you are enjoying the spiritual meal okay how many of you want more I'm your chief servant this morning I'm a waiter and I'm asking you do you want more you want more Ladies and gentlemen, he is living in you. Amen. We all must know this for real. Don't follow up other people to be emotional and to be weeping. One of the basic errors where we people live is allowing their emotion to overrule their reason. Yoruba man says that when we are weeping, we must be seen. If you are weeping and you are not seen, you will jump into gutter. You must know this for a fact. So no matter the situation, and I make bold to prophesy, no matter the situation, I say to you in the house of God, and I'm saying it to you in the house of God, I'm saying it to media, I'm saying it to media, I'm saying it to all my international audience, I'm saying it to you, to you, to all our leaders, no matter the situation, at last, surely, the one whose name is called Wonderful, it shall make you a wonder. I say it shall make you a wonder. The chapter is not yet closed. You can still enjoy the manifest goodness of God because he possess you to triumph all the time, all the day, all the way through. And he make it manifest the sorrow of his knowledge by us in every place. And it will happen within you. It will happen round about you. It will happen to all of yours. Come on now. Every interest of yours, as I'm blessing you, blessing your destiny i'm blessing your children i'm blessing your home i'm blessing your husband i'm blessing your wife i'm blessing your business everything that is yours at your shout the loudest amen they are blessed the one who is called wonderful his name shall be called wonderful wonderful now let's understand the wonderfulness of jesus before we close of a truth jesus 
is justly called wonderful. Why? He is both God and man, the only man who had that audacity. The only man who lived here as God. His love is the wonder of angels. His love, affectionate, is the wonder of glorified sin. In the beings of Jesus and in all his work, Jesus Christ is exalted above the ordinary course of nature. He is called wonderful, wonderful. You just recall, he healed the sick, he raised the dead, he stilled the storm by a word. Peace be still. The storm will say, Jesus, I'm here. He told Peter to walk on the water. He said, come. All that he needed to speak was just a word. C-O-M-E, come. And Peter, ordinary man like in you and I are, he walked on water. That was Jesus. Jesus Christ. He is the real wonder of all generations. The real wonder of all generation is a wonder in all that he is, wonder in all that he does, wonder in all that belongs to him. Hallelujah. And I believe that, you know, Job knew that. Job, I referred to Job a short while ago. Job was a man who had a special bundle of predicament. Trouble, really troubled him. But I believe he knew about the wonderfulness of the Lord when he wrote in Job chapter 5 Job chapter number 5 verses 8 to 9 he said I will seek unto God and unto God will I commit my cause verse 9 we do a great things and unsearchable marvelous things without number we do a great things and unsearchable Marvelous things without number. In chapter 9, it's, it says something similar to that. Job chapter 9, verse number 10. It says, We do a great things past finding out. Yay! Wonders without number. Someone is here today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you have become a candidate for wonders without number. I didn't hear you. I say You have become a candidate of wonders without number. I say, You. I have become a candidate of wonders without number. As you are telling one, others will be coming. Glory that gives back to glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus shall be your portion. Ladies and gentlemen, that issue will never see your end. It is you that will see the end of that issue. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus, I roll my eyes and I say, you will not die again this year. No, not at all. I've been saying it, you will not die. Even if you want to die, you will not die. You will live. You will declare the works of God. So he said, wonders without number. No wonder. God's people. We, God's people, are called to be a people of signs and wonders. In Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. He said, behold, I and the children that God has given to me, we are for signs and for wonders from the Lord of hosts who dwells in Zion. I look at everyone here today. Everyone. Everyone. And those of you who are looking at me um, via the social media or any format you are, you are watching this, this program, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you are here with, initiated into the order of wonders. I say you are initiated to the order of wonders in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Now, I'm rounding up. He is our everything. He is our all in all. Now, the Lord gave me this message because of the night and them. Um, I was also hearing a song, one of those old songs that we used to sing. If you don't know it, you better know it. it. He is my everything. He is my all. He is my everything. Both great and small. He gave it life for me. Makes everything new. He is my everything. Now what about you? He is my savior. I'm my healer. I'm my provider. I'm my source. I'm my fountain. I'm my deliverer. I'm my shielder. He is everything to me. He made all things beautiful. And now about you. How about you? Say to somebody, say, Jesus, 
is my everything. Tell me loud and say, Jesus is my everything. Consume it. Consume it. Own it. Make it your own. Ladies and gentlemen, this message will distinguish you from those who are losers. God will make you a jewel. A jewel. There are some people, every evil stops on their book. Every, they are like the dustbin of the, of the world. Why? They don't know. Jesus is my everything. A charge that the enemy has said, no weapon formed against this one shall prosper. No weapon. Every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment, they are condemned. You know the real meaning of that? Look at me here. The real meaning is that every tongue that wags against your, your joy, against your testimony, against your destiny, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the strength of the covenant, those tongues are pulled out and they are cut off. I have to put them in order of perpetual silence. They are silent. They gather together, they, they fall for your sake. Glory to God. So keep it. He is my everything. Now, the wonderfulness of Jesus transcends the sheer awesomeness of the thing that he did or that he's doing. What do I mean by that? The awesomeness of Jesus is much more than what he does and what he did and what he will do. They are rather inside his person. It is his person. His name shall be called wonderful. But you know, the most joyous part of this fact is that we are believers. Because Jesus Christ is in us. The wonder of all ages is in us. We can live as proxies of Jesus' wonder. When I say proxies, I'm talking of ambassadors. I'm talking of authorized representatives. The Bible says, he said, we are ambassadors for Christ. And so we are reconciling the world to, to God. Because he lives in us. He doesn't live in you for form. Amen. He lives in you so that you can be his representative. Bible says, as he is, so are we in this world. I mean, and Jesus Christ, he, he demonstrated that. He elucidated that. He shed light on that. In many count, he said, I'm the light of the world. And he looked at you and said, you are the light of the world. Meaning, as he is so are we in this world we can represent him jesus christ you know it is wherever you go that he goes today if you show up in your family today it will show up there it was if you show up in your office tomorrow it will show up there as you go it goes is it as you go preach the kingdom ladies and gentlemen in the name of the lord jesus as you appear darkness will disappear i say darkness will disappear because we are proxies, we are authorized agencies, authorized representatives of, of Jesus' wonder today. Be living in all. I'll just read some scripture to us and then we close here. Luke 17, verse 21. These are incredible scriptures. Incredible. Luke 17, 21. Is there neither shall they say, Lo, here, or lo, there? Behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Help me say to somebody, say, say, thus hear the Lord. The kingdom of God is within you. Say, thus hear the Lord. Now, everyone that must say, thus hear the Lord, must, must first of all know, so, thus hear God in the Bible. Nobody must prophesy anything that contradicts scripture. Anybody that I am, this is Rema. Anyone that prophesies anything that contradicts the word of God, just say no. Count them as no. Because God says this, we can say so. Say loud and say, thus hear the Lord. The kingdom of God is within me. Is there? Luke 17, 21. Now, you can't argue against that. He said it. You cannot edit that. He said it. And I see, all that you need to do is just to relax, to pause and believe it. Like I told you, your kid, lawyer, your kidney is inside you. Your eyes don't see it. Your eyes will never see it. Women, you say, I don't, I don't believe I have ovary. You have, no, it's not a matter of belief. You have it. You have it. Is there? Eggs are produced every time and again. In the same way, the same God who ordered that, who ordained that to be, he said, the kingdom of God is within you. Meaning what? 
the king of kings is living inside you the king of glory is living inside you the lord of lords domesized within you he is in there and so as you appear evil must disappear bible says about god is an even terrible he said he descended upon mount paran on one occasion it's in scripture as he descended upon the month month by the name paran he said pestilence followed him pestilence followed him light followed him darkness followed him everything your enemy wants, god will give it to them if they want ordinary walk or knock on the head god will give it to them if they deserve a slap god will give it to them if they deserve a bigger slap the backhand type you know there's a slap from the hand and there's a back lap all right if they want that god will give it to them if god if they desire god to throw stone missile on them god will give it to them if god must tell them if god must kill them god will go ahead and kill them whatever your enemy need is living on the inside of you it's not something you can forget you can forget your ring you can but you cannot forget your kidney inside how many of you say, well, as I was running, but you come me gone on me. And that's why I forget my heart. No, you, you are you are just being wise by half. You are just being half, wise by half. Wise by half. Somebody told me, he said, only a fools thinks other people are foolish. He said, as I was running, oh, you don't come me back by heart. I forgot my heart inside. Talk that one to the wind, not to some, some of us who have um, who have matured in understanding. Now, in the self same way, no matter what it is, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the King of Glory is inside you. Bible said, "Don't you know there is a King in you?" He said, "Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwells within you? The Spirit of God dwells within you." He said, "Now Christ in me is the hope of glory." Help me say to somebody, "Say I'm carrying God." Say by God's plan. Say I'm carrying God. Hey, come on. Say, I'm carrying God. This is the misery, sir, of godliness. That's why poverty must give way for me. Poverty. Lack must give way for me. No matter how arranged they are, no matter the hand that join hand, when God appears, as I appear, they must disperse. They must disperse. Ori Buruku, Yagolono. Arino, Yagolono. Airibi, Yagolono. I Yagolona. I Rikmo Yagolona. I saw Yagolona. Because I'm carrying God. God Almighty is coming, sir. God is coming. And then some aggregate of rag tag demons, they say they want to obstruct him. Do you know who is coming? No matter the noise you make, no matter. It will still arrange all the paraphernalia of his presidency. They can come with 30 vehicles. No, no matter whether you like it or not. With the godogodos, the godogodos, with all the paraphernalia of, of enforcement, all right, cohesive machinery, and their hands are by that thing, by that thing. So they will be looking. Some will back themselves like that. Godogodo, president is coming, and now you now say you arrange some roadblock against him. You will not live in your house that day to tell the story. This pastor is the wonder of all wonder Bible says, great is the mystery of godliness i don't have to i don't have to walk up myself to believe it it is so he said so and so i believe it so it will be so that's why i don't go to the village and be singing litany Olua, Olua, Mojin Law, Mojin Law, Yakinri, Kinikon, Kinikon, Kumani, become a pona, a bulong pona. I go. I come back. Hallelujah. Why? The king is coming. Hallelujah. And we are his glory. Everywhere I go, he goes there. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the beauty of the incarnation. God decided to reconcile men to himself. And I say it in closing. Ladies and gentlemen, widely use the name of Jesus. Never lose sight of that name. It's the choices family possession. The choices family possession. Don't lose sight of it. We have all God has highly exalted Jesus and has given him a name that's above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every name should bow of things in heaven, things on earth. 
those who lose sight of the use of that name they don't become who they were supposed to be their lives also disgraces the wishes the well wishes of god with the name of jesus you are equipped for every battle it goes with you it goes ahead of you it clears the coast he walks in you he operates he serves you right someone is here oh my dad everyone that listened to me today in the name of the lord jesus i said it and i'm saying it again in the name of the lord jesus you will finish this year with joy i say with joy i say with joy no evil carry over i said no evil carry over i said no evil carry over jesus never failed you will not fail he was never sick you won't be sick again he knew no sin sin shall not dominate over you again he lived in majesty you will not live in poverty and lack he dominated situations and circumstances situations and circumstances will not dominate you someone is here you shall be head you will not be the tail you are the head you will not be the tail you will not be overruled by circumstances you don't know anything about this is your day this is your day you shall not be a disappointment you shall reign by the power of christ no matter what is happening though god will still take your enemies you know he, he will see ride on them with a trail of triumph and for your good ladies and gentlemen he leaves us even today in a trail of triumph and we are following him if you are fed well fed well you will bear full with this word this word will show forth and i command everyone here today I, i'm dangling my hand this hand my hand is warmed up and i'm telling you fat i'm feeling the way i felt it then i if you can collect, collect anything you are looking for. Collect deliverance. Collect great ending. Collect strong finishing. Collect good health. If you are sick there, I command you, drop it. If you are sick, drop it. If you are bound, you are free. In the name of the Lord Jesus, your enemies will come and beg you. If they don't beg you, they won't eat. In the name of Jesus, it's a new day, it's a new dawn. God Almighty will visit you. You shall be visited. I say you shall be visited. It's a new dawn. It's a new you. A new you. A new day. A new dawn. In the name of Jesus. Good things are happening to you. Someone is here, you will celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the word of God. Go ahead and praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give him glory. Give him praise. Reveal a mama no glave ta toke belan san choke da. Gerentando kla bapala mos patakla se he. Rofre patakla. He said, Greater one is in me. How many of you believe that? He said it. Whether you believe or not, or not is there. And he told me he's living in you. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Many years ago, we were, we were living in a rented house in Anoyesi. Darling was there on a Saturday. We saw some, I now call them witches. They pulled out from the wall. How they did, I don't know, from the wall. They just came and they heard themselves and they laughed. in your gi. We catch you. I said, Taiwan? Taiwan? No. And I spoke in tongue. Prafila Sakpira Negela. And the only God I believe interpreted it say you cannot insult God and go with an unbroken neck. You cannot. Sunday morning, one of them came to beg. One of them came and beg. Some of you here, you remember the story of the one that somebody that became snake, turned to snake.
turned to snake and then was wounded. They came to beg. Your enemies must beg you. There's no secret. Elder and Mrs. Shanusi, Elder and Mrs. Look, secret. This is the secret. It's not a new okay kind of a spirit. It is the thing that it is the thing inside the same inside the valise. You can't become renowned until you know. You must know this thing. And every witch that wants to dare it, to bad they commit suicide. Let them dare it. Because my God will crush them. By reason of what we know. Any devil that wants to jump on you with injection of, of any, any rebellious, stubborn de devil, the, the devil must die. Every demon that wants to rebel in your life, I command them die. Well, I can say, I'm not going to lead you to pray in any prayer. I've released the word. I've served the meal. We put butter there. We put um, milo. We put milk. We put honey. We put uh, all the things. And you are enjoying it. Are you ready? If somebody does not sing around you, you sing your own louder so that you collect the blessing. Because what God is giving your uh, around, your surrounding environment there must not just be, there must be no leftover. Consume everything. Give it to me now in the choir. Greater is he that is in me. Oh, greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in the world. my everything you are my healer my savior my guide i will not miss my direction you're my body and bearer you're my provider you are my all in all jesus you are my all in all i fit myself to you open your mouth and pray the prayer jesus you are my everything you are my doctor you are my lawyer you are my baptizer you are my helper you are my misery, merciful misery supplier. Roman and Clafe Sakada. Tatalamash Padra Bela Basakada. Ye Yukima Balo Baran Glass and Dorabalava Sandabla. Refripatola Basmanagalabaza. Ye Tota Pila Nanka, Tota Bela Sandabla. Ravila Lashan de Rabalabaza. Ravila Bayama Yumanaka Sagabalaba. Ah! <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whatever does not belong to you will not remain in your body. Sickness does not belong to you. Poverty does not belong to you. Failure does not belong to you. Your new day has come. You will live and not die. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Who is the person you had a dream that I laid a hand on you and you could remember it happened within the last three days. You saw that I laid a hand on you and was praying for you in a dream. If you are the one, can you run out now? I will actualize that. Whatever God is given to you, come and physically receive it. The Lord has given it to you. The party in my part look laughing someone like that. Sister, you will love her. Are you a one way being in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus, in the trail of triumph, that which God has done for you will manifest. It is materializing. 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 
materializer in the name of Jesus. Although pillar la guajina ga ruan the bail on martila mouse by the class. There are no enchantment against Jacob, no divination against Israel. If your enemy want to die, it will be their choice. If your enemy want to die, it shall be their choice. No speculation. Now, someone in the days when you were still weak, someone placed a charm on your path. It is known. It is no speculation. Now, you are seeing the effect of that up until now. A charm walking. Now, I will just touch you. We we'll drive you to the ground. If your enemy says no, they will no more be enemy. They will be transported to the class of a foe. Christ has redeemed you from the cause of the law. He redeemed you from the cause of the law. Be made a cause for you. It is written, cause is everyone that hangs on the tree. Hallelujah. It is well. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'd like you to put your hand here. It is still his touch. I'm not serving myself. I have a master who sent me. He's the one who gave me this message. He's the one. And he told me if you would touch him via touching this hand on your screen, something good will happen to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, for your people everywhere they are. In whatever condition they may have found themselves at this hour. Now ask, oh God, that with your touch they be lifted up in Jesus' name. I ask, oh God, that I might, by mercy visit each and every one of us. Everyone listening to this message. In whatever situation we are, whatever condition we are, Yes, those who are in pains now, visit them. Those who are in penury now, Lord, visit them. Those who need breakthrough now, visit them. Those who need job now, visit them. Those who need children, those who need spouses, Lord, visit them. God, those who are struggled and struggled to no end, Lord, visit them, oh God. Those who are wept secretly, Lord, visit them, oh Lord, by your mercy. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let your mercy set to it. Let your mercy set to this situation. Let your mercy set to it. In the name of Jesus. And I command your destiny. Rise up and walk. I say rise up and walk. I say rise up and walk. I command your business. Rise up and walk. Let your marriage rise up and walk. Let your health rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. In the name of God the Father. God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to give God praise for his mercy over my life and my family. In 2020, I put to bed, but before then, I had hypertension in pregnancy. And after delivery, it persisted and uh, kind of wanted to defy all form of medical attention because even with the drugs I was giving, it was not going. I was always feeling weak. I was taking different tests and hospital and all that. Uh, until even I was referred to Lasset um, to see a specialist. But I want to give God praise that um, that particular issue made it impossible for me to fully participate in activities at the headquarters and convention specially. I would not be able to come for all the days of the convention, maybe one, two, or three days just to participate in the convention. But last year, um, before then, there was a time Daddy requested to see me. So I went to see daddy, he encouraged me, and he prayed, a short prayer, just like mommy said the other day, very short prayer, and he told me it is settled, it is well. On my way out, I met mommy, and mommy as well encouraged me, and she made a very remarkable statement that I did not forget. She said, as ice melts before fire, that was how that thing was going to melt. I kept on to that word, I held on to that word. Last year, I came for the convention, the days that I attended, and I told God, I said, the God that answers by fire, he will make me stand before God's people this year to testify. And I want to give God praise. Since Sunday, I've been coming for this convention, despite the stress of work and coming, every day I come and I dance, it had never been so for the past three or four years. I just want to give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Praise 
is the Lord. My name is Mrs. Aze, A.K. Lolo. I'm here to testify to the glory of God. And I came to this, um, it happened seven years ago. When daddy, during the Bethel service, daddy made a call that he declared that the women here are going to give birth to um, male children and their name will be Joshua. I am Mrs. Ojo, we killed to it, we run out. We, 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 off, we dropped an offering to it, then we went back to our seat. Then, after that year, the next year, I took in and I gave back to that boy exactly that better day. And my husband said the name have already been declared, Joshua. But something happened this, um, on Wednesday when he was playing regular playing then he fell down and hit his head on the ground these boys started vomiting constantly more than three hours constant vomiting then when i now started calling my husband please call daughter and when i took out took him to the clinic then the, the nurse there was afraid to give him medicine because of the condition but to god be the glory i when they gave him the medicine and everything my daughter now said this boy heart is going down i started praying and at the end, when we went back to our camp, it continued. But later, I discovered that I always come to this altar to come and pray. Then there is the handkerchief that I normally go with and the mantle. And I use the mantle and wrap him. Hallelujah. And at the end, he received his total healing. Let's I give God all the glory. For Jesus. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. My name is Ogunle Ebose. I want to give this testimony to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Some years back, let me say like two years back, two I used to have some attack like, you know, that could have led to physical surgery. But I put it into God's hands. And there was a fateful day I had this revelation. I was supposed to be operated upon in that revelation. Then there came a man in white. I was now looking at the face of the man. It was our daddy, Bishop Dr. Taiwa Kiola. He operated on me, and it was in the pain, everything I used to have. You know, Hallelujah. Went. Yes. Secondly, I want to give this testimony concerning my sister. The VG, the Osana night we normally have every first Friday of the month, the June edition, she came here and she got healed from a chronic disease that would have led to kidney, you know, problem. When we got home, she told me that, Auntie, Jesus is in this church. So I said, yes. So what happened? She said she has been suffering from this urinary tract infection and she's a nurse. She has applied so many medication, but to no avail. But when she visited here, she got a healing and she testified that. Let's God put our hands together her. for Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I to testify of God healing in my life yesterday. Uh, somebody gave me donuts for three years ago. And ever since I ate that donut, I've been suffering for stomach. That is, I don't know what is working around my stomach. People will see me, they will call me Yah Beji. The stomach will be swelling, mm -hmm. and every time this thing starts, I will vomit as if I want to. Mm -hmm. That is, I want to die. Mm -hmm. But yesterday, I cannot even. So, but if you hit my tummy, if like I will hold you, mm -hmm. we will fight because the pain is so much. But yesterday, Daddy called for healing, and thank God I received my healing yesterday. A and word of knowledge and came and concerning and her situation and yesterday. And and she has received her healing. Only when I'm coming to this convention, I called my other brother. I'm, we are going for convention. It's okay. I will send you ten thousand naira for transport. Mm -hmm. Town boy, yesterday he said I have sent you money. When I checked my uh, I, because daddy prayed for us for miracle a lot. When I checked my phone, I saw hundred thousand. Please let's Praise put our God. hands together for Jesus. Your help us will remember you in the name of Jesus. 
as you respond to the word of the prophet in this place, your miracle will manifest in Jesus' name. It's a new date, it's a new day, a new era, and a new you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I, I like to say, if you have not been born again, you are disqualifying yourself from the specific touch that will give you access to the realm of great possibilities. Remember I said, there's nothing impossible to those that believe. Believing in the power of the Almighty God through Jesus Christ. Believing that he died for you. Believing that he was the Lamb of God that was living for you. Believing and repenting. If you have not done that, you are shutting out yourself in the waiting room of destiny. 
you. And that wait will be long. You can't find real, true, genuine, eternal expression without Christ. That's the way it works. I gave, gave my life to Jesus several years ago. I've never found a better last year. No, never. It does not allow my destiny to submit to evil. My destiny does not submit to ailment, not to diseases, not to lack. No, the devil cannot help me. He cannot. In the name of Jesus. Once you believe, you begin to enjoy that. I want to pray a special prayer for you. You must be born again today. If you are not born again, you are still against all the things we have spoken. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Jesus, come into my life. Jesus, you are the lamp of God that died for the sins of the world. I call you my Lord. I proclaim you my Savior today. You are my Redeemer. I believe you in my heart. I confess you with my mouth. From today, I promise and vow I will follow you through seriously and sincerely in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Now, you can join me in the church on Sunday. You can join me. 9 a.m. It's going to be a special jubilation service. Let's come and rejoice together. Stay connected. Evil will never touch you. Evil will never touch you. It is well. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God keep you in the name of of Jesus. Praise the Lord. give our offerings we have two account numbers that you can give into we have a UBA account Rama Christian Church 2027459564 2027459564 Rama Christian Church UBA we also have a GTB account same Account name Rema Christian Church 0124972099 GTB Rema Christian Church. As you sow into any of these accounts, you will reap your bounteous harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never know a better yesterday. God bless you. is the hallmark of the kingdom. Have you sad story of barrenness, sickness, poverty and oppression? Marital delay.
change to glorious testimony meets with jesus and encounter the holy spirit for a definite change at the moment of victory program hold it every second saturday of the month at rema christian church and towers stand ground city of zion along lagos abelkuta expressway while simi time is 10 a.m you can still dance to the victory song only believe Ministry, Bishop Taiwo and Pastor Mrs. Iriti Akiola. God is a God of victory. Oh, oh. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Rema Christian Church and Towers International invites you to a great time of refreshing, a power encounter in God's awesome presence. Be inspired and empowered through the word of power coming from the throne. Be ushered into the realm of possibilities as God steps into your situations and circumstances. Be who he created you to be, victorious, triumphant, and joyous. Yes, here the world is unquestionably triumphant. Ministering Bishop Taiwan Pastor Mrs. Iriti Akinola every Sunday, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., and 11 a.m. at Champion Peace Cathedral, Rema Christian Church, Temidere Songo, Taogun State, Nigeria. Or online Sunday service, 6 p.m. Nigerian time, on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Rema Champions, and on YouTube, www.youtube.com slash Rema World Online. For inquiries, call 003 328 0103 or 003 713 9711 or 003 397 0785. God bless you richly. Jesus is the King of Kings. Rema Christian Church is a place to be, a place of covenant security, peace, and prosperity where nobody is allowed to suffer or permitted to fail. You would not fail expecting you tomorrow. God bless you. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you for joining us today on Freedom Across the Airways. Freedom Across the Airways is a production of Rema Christian Church in Tars, 1 to 7 Rema Avenue of Lagos Road, the Midi Sun Water, Uku State. Be a part of our Sunday worship and impartation service, 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m as well as 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Every Tuesday is Encounter Miracle Service, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. It's an interdenominational miracle service where we minister to the barren, the sick, and many more. For prayers and counseling, call 003-328-0103 or 005-718-1003. Or 003-397-0785. You can also join Bishop Taiwo Akinola on Facebook www.facebook.com slash bishop akinola or follow us on twitter www.twitter.com slash bishop akinola god bless you as you do so the next in line for a miracle. Join Bishop Dr. Taiwo Akiola and Pastor Mrs. Ziriti Akiola of the Rema Christian Church and Towers. Please invite others. Our God is awesome. Jesus Christ is Lord.